He visited the White House for a nearly two-hour meeting with President Joe Biden on Wednesday, and committing to a straightforward transition of power despite actively working to disrupt the same process four years ago. Associated Press White House reporter Will Wiesert said that Trump appeared gracious, and more comfortable than when he met with Obama in 2016. I think that it was a little bit different from 2016 when Trump first came to the White House with as president-elect with Obama and seemed a little bit nervous and subdued. This time he seemed to be more in his element. He seemed, you know, he was coming back to a place he knew pretty well but he was also sort of very gracious and didn't really get into sort of back and forth with Biden at all," Wiesert said. Trump won last week's election and says he's now ready to ensure that there is a seamless move from his administration of Biden's. But when he lost four years ago, it was a very different story. Trump filed scores of lawsuits falsely claiming widespread voter fraud, refused to actively participate in transition work and helped incite a mob that attacked the U.S. Capitol. Mr. President-elect and former president and Donald, congratulations. And uh, looking forward to having, a, like we said, a smooth transition. Former president and president-elect Donald Trump and uh, Joe Biden met for nearly two hours today in the, in the White House in a cordial meeting. They, they shook hands and sort of talked back and forth. Uh, we were only very briefly in there, didn't get to say much uh, or hear much. Uh, President Biden call uh, Trump both uh, former president and uh, uh, Mr. President and president-elect before he finally settled on Donald. Um, and he said that there would be a smooth transition. And uh, Trump was sort of very gracious. They, they shook hands and, and Trump said that uh, politics could often sort of be a, you know, a, a bad world, but it wasn't today and that this was very positive. And he said, you know, thank you, Joe. Uh, and he said that the transition would be as smooth as it, uh, as it could be. You know, I, I think that uh, it was a little bit different from 2016 when Trump first came to the White House with, as president-elect with Obama and seemed a little bit sort of nervous and subdued. This time, he seemed to be more in his element. He seemed to, you know, he's com coming back to a place he knew pretty well. Um, but he was also sort of very gracious and, and didn't, uh, didn't really uh, get into sort of the back and forth with Biden at all. President-elect Donald Trump on Tuesday said Elon Musk and former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy will lead a new Department of Government Efficiency, which is not, despite the name, a government agency. The acronym DOGE is a nod to Musk's favorite cryptocurrency, Dogecoin. Trump said in a statement that Musk and Ramaswamy will work from outside the government to offer the White House advice and guidance, and will partner with the Office of Management and Budget to drive large-scale structural reform and create an entrepreneurial approach to government never seen before. He added that the move would shock government systems. It's not clear how the organization will operate. It could come under the Federal Advisory Committee Act, which dictates how external groups that advise the government must operate and be accountable to the public. Federal employees are generally required to disclose their assets and entanglements to ward off any potential conflicts of interest and to divest significant holdings relating to their work. Because Musk and Ramaswamy would not be formal federal workers, they would not face those requirements or ethical limitations. Musk posted on X, Department of Government Efficiency. The merch will be. Later he added, threat to democracy? Nope, threat to bureaucracy. Musk has been a constant presence at Mar-a-Lago since Trump won the presidential election. The president-elect has often said he would give Musk a formal role overseeing a group akin to a blue-ribbon commission that would recommend ways to slash spending and make the federal government more efficient. Musk at one point suggested he could find more than $2 trillion in savings, nearly a third of total annual government spending. Ramaswamy suspended his campaign in January and threw his support behind Trump. Where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. 
fire. Take over, Elijah. Take over. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. You know, you... you you, 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 show, you, show, you show what you show what matters by your actions, not your words. And my actions are: I'm here, I'm in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm here for a very important reason. Which, yeah, it's, it which is I can't emphasize I can't emphasize enough that Pennsylvania is, I think, the linchpin in this election, and this election, I think, is going to decide uh, the fate of America. And it, uh, along with the fate of America, the fate of uh, Western civilization. I think as a nation, we are really still just a little young, actually. And I think we can still be a nation in our ascent. So on one hand, I'm not going to be the person who tells you it's morning in America because it's not. But I think it can be. And I think it's going to take a leader who both sees the present hour for what it is. The hour is late, but it's not done yet. And I think with that, I do think that our nation's best days for the next generation can still be ahead of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, think a, I think right now, uh, if we're meaningfully above where the mainstream media narrative has us polling or otherwise, if, we're, if we score in the double digits, I think we're well on our way to success. And I think that we are absolutely going to achieve that. And I think that there's plenty of room for a top three, top two, or even a top one finish on the table for us right now. Yeah. 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 Ready to go? Finish your workout? Let's go, brother. 30. Yeah. Let's go, Babette. Three, four, four. Rip with the line. All the way up. Right Ready to go? Finish your workout? Let's do it, brother. 30. Yeah. Let's go, brother.